Ida Cognata. If you could fly in a hot air balloon over any city in the world, what city would you choose? If you could fly in a hot air balloon over any city in the world, what city would you choose? Iga Kornata. That is a very interesting question because it essentially demands from me choosing the city that looks the best from the air. And I can't really remember what city looks the best while in the, uh, looking from the air. So let's start from Venice. Venice is a very con conservative choice. It has those thousands of lagoons and seeing them from the air, it's a, it would probably be a nice sight. Then there is the option of, let's say, Lhasa. Lhasa is highly in Tibet and I do not know even whether a hot air balloon would work in Tibet. You know, uh, uh, 8,000 8, meters in the air. No, I don't know whether an, a hot air, air balloon would work there. Okay, then we have a more pat patriotic option. So let's choose Warsaw. Warsaw, yeah, maybe there would be some nice sites over here. For example, the Palace Kulturino, Kultur the Palace of Culture and Science. Hmm. But if you apply, if you ask me for the most, emo most emotional choice, I think that would be San Francisco. San Francisco is a very nice city to me, emotional, because it was the start, uh, a very important city for some of the most important cultural uh, stories of the 20th century. For example, the hippie revolution in 1968 uh, in the Haight-Ashbury district, and then the, uh, it was also the first city where the uh, first openly gay uh, city council representative was chosen, it was Harvey Milk from the Castro district several, several years later. So yeah, I think it would be San Francisco. Thanks a lot all.